everyone, welcome to the tutorial video for the installation of the Routes Mobility Model. We've already installed and compiled the official MS3.24 version on this machine, and we're going to go over the steps required to install the additional libraries. All the commands shown in this video can be found in the wiki of the project, and the machine we're working on is running Ubuntu 15.04 uh, in 64 bits mode. So first of all, the user needs to install a couple of libraries, and these are required in order to compile curl pp. If we're working on a different distribution, the names of the packages may vary slightly. <coughs> so after this is taken care of, we begin by com by compiling and installing geographic lib. Uh, so for the purpose of this tutorial, I've already looked up the download link for all the required libraries, but I advise you to go to the official website of each library and download the latest version. So this is a pretty straight straightforward installation. Uh, you only need to run the configure script and then make and make install. For the purposes of this tutorial, the library compilations were fast forward as they can take several minutes to complete. Now I'll be installing the curl pp library. <coughs> uh, this library requires the user to run the autogen script beforehand. And, and then it's just a simple matter of running the configure script and then make and uh, make install. Finally, we are going to install the Xerxes C++ library. This library is also installed by running the configure script and then make and make install. Some of the libraries shown here can also be found on your distributions package manager. However, I've chosen to compile them from source as this seems to be a distro independent tutorial.
also need to add the newly installed libraries to the path. And we're going, we're going to do this by editing the bash RC script. In some distributions, it's going to be the bash profile file. And another thing is that the path shown in this tutorial might differ, might differ if you're working on another distribution. I advise you to look up the path of the installed libraries with all deconfig. Finally, we should source the, um, the bash RC file so we don't need to reboot. Now we need to add the route mobility module to the actual NS3 distribution. As I've said, we're using NS3.24 for the purposes of this video, as it's the latest version of NS3. I've downloaded the tarball earlier, but in order to download it, you'll need to head to the download section of the Bitbucket repository and download the mobility service interface tarball. We begin by unpacking it, and after that is done, we'll move it to NS3's source folder. After moving the module to the source folder, we place the Google Maps API key on the module's conf folder. This key is required for the use of this module and it's not provided with it, as it is unique to each user. There is a section explaining how to obtain one on the module's documentation. It has a free version that should suit the needs of most users. After that is done, we run WAF configure and WAF build in order to configure and compile NS3 using the newly added module. Lastly, I'm going to show you the execution of an example that generates mobility for 100 nodes given a real-world area. In this case, it generates mobility for 100 nodes in the city of Porto in Portugal. This example will show you just how easy it is to generate the mobility as it only requires a few lines of code to accomplish this. I've disabled the login components for the purposes of this tutorial, but you're more than welcome to try them and see the code for yourself. This example provides, by default, uh, outputs for Netanim and the traditional ASCII trace of NS3. This image shows a net and visualization of the mobility generated for a simulation of 1000 nodes in the city of Porto. This shows the potential of this module for use with large node containers and, as you can see, the nodes here represented by red dots are spread out through the area selected. It is also of note that the mobility traces adhere to the existing road networks and, because this model uses Google Maps for travel planning, the most used roads in the simulation, shown here by the darker lines, are also the most, the most used roads in the real world, as Google Maps will always compute the best path for a given journey. I would like to thank you for watching this video and I would also like to announce that we'll soon publish a new video with a tutorial on how to use this module for various purposes.